why was it 750 euros and why is it parked here on the side of a main road? Tasted. No. Yeah, we've done it again. <laughs> we got one. Flat front, which is probably the only good thing about it. <laughs> no, there is a lot of good about this car. So yeah, manual M47. This is really cool. I'm not going to operate it now, but yeah, there's no headlining, but obviously we, we've uh, we've grown to expect that on the 740s, haven't we? But yeah, guys, nice black interior, which is always nice. Electric windows, which is cool. It's actually really quite nicely specced. Tow bar, but it's actually, it was an Opal radio. We've got to get rid of that straight away. Heated seats. A standard, yeah, they all have. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's actually quite nice. It's quite a nice one as they go. Um, but I'm sure you're all probably curious as to mechanically. There she goes, look. You know how to do it. Well done. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. So yeah, why was it 750 euros? And why is it parked here on the side of a main road? 700 euros. Why is it here and a load of uh, cars without license plates and a, and a workshop? Well, yeah, it doesn't run. Um, I'm gonna have to actually probably go inside to probably talk a little bit more about it. But I just thought I'd show you guys the engine bay. Uh, so you probably already know what to expect. So that's bone dry. You haven't seen this yet, no, have you, Miss Involver? No. no. So this is bone dry. Uh -oh. Smells of gasoline. You can probably smell it. You can smell petrol. Mm. Nice and uh, full of flavour. The oil's fine. It smells fuely, but it tasted. No. But it's actually it's okay. So obviously the head gasket has failed, but it's not been gone for long. So. Yeah, they've replaced a bunch of parts recently. It was actually just went through the inspection earlier this year. But anyway, let's get inside and talk a little bit more about it. It's actually got almost half a million kilometers on it as well. And it does actually work. So that is the kilometers. Well, then again, he said he got it repaired twice. It didn't work for some time. So she said there will be some more kilometers. So it's definitely over half a mil. Yeah. But that's fine. That's not a problem for these at all. But yeah, so the engine, so because you'll have to chip in because obviously there was a bit of translating that was going on but essentially it started acting up it didn't actually overheat on the gauge the gauge stayed halfway they didn't see it no but they weren't really paying attention but she said it, it didn't really go over the half i see and uh yeah then it started making weird noises wouldn't run ran badly then just cut out and wouldn't run yeah just cut out on the exit of the autobahn so yeah and then they got it towed here and then they've got a mechanic here that's had a look at it and he said yeah it's been overheating looks like the head gasket's gone it was a bit emotional for the for the woman she loved this car she's had it for, for 13 years there's a stack of history uh yeah it was it was their baby it was their you know it was part of their family and obviously it's a reluctant sale she spent 16 over 16,000 euros on it over the last 13 years coolant just water like it's totally yeah the, the head gasket was done in 2019 <laughs> Sounds like it hasn't got enough compression. What? 
trying to capture the, the gears turning. The moment. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering how far to go on the side of the road at, at night time. Mm. Looks a bit sketchy around here as well. I just want to see if the engine's really too easy to turn. Yeah, just turns too easily. There's one mark there going to the to the notch, and this dart is lined up with this. It's too loose, and it's about. It looks like it wants to work its way off the edge, but the engine is actually timed up. It's time to go home, isn't it? It's a bit dark. Let's go. Here we go then guys, we're loading her up. Ja, und, und äh, jetzt äh, mit der Anlasse besser. So yeah guys, if you're in the Berlin area, gotta love that for simplicity, eh? But yeah, lovely guy. Good good price right now I've got the logistical nightmare he was a nice guy I should have actually asked him to help me do this but maybe that was a little bit cheeky probably could have paid him a few extra notes but whatever I'll manage Bloody tow bar. Oh, it's just gonna clear, I think. I had it in the UK, the car wouldn't fit in the garage, had a 940. It would have fit if not for the tow bar. Just needed that extra inch. That's what she said. Yeah, close. Anyway. Right. Right, let's continue on. So, I took out the plugs earlier, when it arrived, and two of them have broke. So cylinder one, cylinder two, they've sheared straight off. So what I'm gonna do now is do a compression test. Tricky with these kind of tools, you either get a cheap set or it's like 200 euros, there doesn't seem to be much in between. But this one's actually quite good. It's a decent one, it's not the usual typical ones you're just getting in a red or blue box. Anyway, you're not interested in that. You want to see what this engine's saying. Oh, it just broke. I can't believe it just broke. So I can't do anything then. I'm going to put it back together. I don't think it's going to stay back together, but let's just try it. Okay, we're in. 
and now the age old problem of where to put the thing so that you can see it Zero. I can hear it. Yeah, you can hear there's no compression. Nah, nothing. Or a tiny bit. I could hear boom, boom, boom. You could hear that was doing something. Yeah, you hopefully you heard that. Five psi. <laughs> It's bad. I would say a 10 PSI. But virtually nothing. Yeah, I can see coolant here, I can see water coming out. Hundred and thirty, which is actually like bang on for this engine. For one cylinder, like per cylinder, like that's actually totally fine. So there we go. The answer to the question, the title of this video that is inevitably going to be, can it be saved? Well, it's a bit of a rhetorical question, really. Of course it can. Anything can be saved. Is it worth saving? Well, of course it is. I mean, it's a 740 wagon. Of course it's worth saving. So a quick shot of underneath just so you guys got the full picture. The floors, I've pushed, I've banged them, I've pushed all this, I've made sure like, I can't just easily slip my thumb into the frame. And yeah, but obviously we can see it's crusty and we can see, you know, if we really start getting carried away with a screwdriver and really start digging, we might find one or two small holes, but you know, it was good enough for the tester. And you know what the German inspections are like, um, he's signed it off for another two years. He said it's okay. It's solid enough. So she's got two years, hasn't she, at least? All this is okay back here. There's nothing major. We need to take the head off and we need to see what's going on there. Hopefully we can get away with just replacing the head or even fixing that one. Potentially we're going to need a motor. We'll see how we get on. Yeah, either way, make sure you subscribe to follow the journey. And yeah, obviously next time we're back on this, we'll be taking that head off and seeing what's going on. I'll see you then.